what the feedback that we are getting from service users, from families, from employees is one of disarray, confusion, um, and one um, of services being affected. Um, and this is having a real impact on the daily lives of service users. Um, we're talking about um, service users not receiving services, um, their care being affected, um, some service users not having the care that they need on a daily basis, um, care not, um, the care that they need not arriving on the scheduled times. And it's our understanding that it's not um, so much an issue of um, lower level um, issues, but more of um, higher management issues, which are all um, linked to uh, transitional issues. You talk about feedback, but what I'd like to ask you is whether any of that feedback has been directly between a service user and yourself, or whether you've picked out what we have seen on social media. No, the feedback has been a lot of that feedback, overwhelming feedback has been directly from service users to uh, myself. Uh, to which is very concerning. They are um, service users are very anxious. They're very worried. Their families are very anxious and they're very worried, um, as well as employees which are affected by this. So there's a lot of people that are directly affected by these, and that this and our lives are affected by this. There is a, a human impact to this, um, and of course, the the government subcontracts um, these services, but. They have a duty to ensure that the, the, the transition is a seamless one. And so the mechanisms should have been in place to ensure a seamless. Have you uh, notified the government of the concerns that have been raised with you? Have you approached them and said, look, we're hearing these stories. Um, is, is there something that you're doing about them? Well, it's important to note that the, the, the issue of tenders, these tenders and... Um, the, the transfer has been uh, an issue in Parliament for several months. We have asked questions about this, and this has been an issue of parliamentary questions for several months. Um, I, in fact, um, posed several questions about these issues in this month's session. I understand that the, the Honourable uh, Minister was attending business. Um, she had government responsibilities, and she could not attend the session of Parliament to answer these questions. So they have they've had to roll over uh, to next month. But my point is, if I have been alerted to these concerns all throughout the summer period. I am sure that as Minister with Responsibility for Care, she must, been, must have been alerted to these concerns. Why has the government had to wait to October to put mechanisms, mechanisms in place to address these concerns and the disruption that is being caused to this critical area of service? Surely, mechanisms should have been put in place to ensure that this disruption would, did not occur in the first place. The government said in their press release that these are teething uh, issues which happens when a new contract comes in. Do you accept that? We cannot afford these issues in this uh, sector. This is a sector that provides for our elderly community, for people that need home support and domiciliary care, and people that rely on these services. If you are going to assure the public that there will be a seamless transition, then the government needs to put mechanisms in place to ensure that there's a seamless transition. If the government now issues a press release in October, as a result of public outcry and public backlash, because they have had to wait till October knowing that, there, that these teasing issues have been occurring for several months, and they have only come out with a press release when there has been public outcry and backlash plastered all over social media, which we have seen, then where have these mechanisms, where have they been? Where haven't they been enforced? Uh, the press release also said that a meeting with stakeholders has been convened. Are you satisfied with that? Well, I would have much rather that it was convened throughout the several months that this, these issues have been going on, and not now that the issues have been plastered all over social uh, media.